Hi, so I'm doing a video about how to apply for a job in Australia because I get asked that a lot. I applied, I got a job. So uh, very quickly, you should have passed ANC1 at least. You should have passed your English language exam before you're applying. And then there are government campaigns which run from May end to July uh, where they are advertising the jobs. Now you should understand the system. Uh, so when you are doing internship, you are in PGY1. After internship, how many ever years you have worked, it becomes PGY2, PGY3, PGY4. So you count internship as PGY1. So when you go on the government recruitment campaigns, it's called JMO recruitment campaign. Just Google it. Every state has its own. In that, you have to apply for junior medical officer position, RMO position, and SRMO position. Don't apply for registrar because here the registrars are very, very independent, very senior. So unless you have worked in a government hospital for a good three to four years and you have done your post-graduation, I would not recommend to apply for registrar position. Apply for GMO, RMO, house officers, SRMO. This is all for Australia. Uh, so when you are applying, you have to go and read the job description. Every job has a proper description, application criteria. You must answer the application criteria. Some campaigns need a cover letter. Some campaigns don't need a cover letter. Like I don't think New South Wales needs a cover letter. They ask whatever they want to ask in their template. You have to answer that. So start with the application. Now your resume, the, uh, if you go to the APRA website, it has a resume template. You download the resume template and you fill it up. Uh, and that's how you don't need like a special resume writer. You can write your resume. And if you're telling me that you can't write your resume, you're going to become a doctor. So you should be able to write your resume. You have to just write where you were working after internship. And the template has very clear cut. So you have to just fill that. Now the next thing is if you're applying from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, anywhere. It is just smarter to pass the AMC2 and come. So it is easier. Because once you start working in the system, I mean I found it quite a difficult system. So I was trying to learn, understand, orient, go through the system. So... You don't get time to study for AMC2. Like you again have to take a break, then sit for three, four months and then study for AMC2. Everybody doesn't have to become a GP. Uh, becoming a GP is not bad. It's a very, very, very good thing. You should become a GP. It's a wonderful uh, job and we are the first doctor. If the GP wants only, then somebody will go to a specialist. It's not like our country. GPs manage a lot. But say if you are a trained gynec from your country and you want to be a gynecologist, then it is you can become gynecologist also you don't have to go down like the gp pathway so another thing if you have worked in emergency medicine apply in emergency medicine don't apply in gynec if you have been working in gynec apply in gynec okay um, like i was working in medicine so i applied in medicine and icu but i will suggest people who have done anesthesia they apply in icu people who have done medicine apply in medicine work in emergency medicine for some time it's a good experience it will help you clear your interview uh, so uh, I, you can ask me personally what are problems you're facing in your uh, job application then i can answer it but see it takes around four to five hours to fill like one application at least it takes me that much time you have to have a ielts registered number or a pt number they that you have to fill in the application they ask you if you're a permanent resident so if you have a permanent residency, putting in the PR number helps because then the hospital doesn't have to sponsor your work visa. So I personally feel after you give AMC1, you should try to get the permanent residency of the country. And uh, it just makes life easier. But if you're brilliant, you get sponsored. It's not that you don't get sponsored. Many of my friends have come on work visa, which are sponsored by hospitals. But then obviously you don't get it like in the heart of Sydney. You'll get it in a rural hospital that requires work staff. Um, also, after AMC1, give your English exam because both are equally important. Then AMC2 and then your job application. 
uh, after one if you're applying then resu resume format of apra and then in the recruitment campaign log in make your login id then update your documents and everything so when you open the campaign you'll understand what all they're asking for but don't be like one day i'll get a resume made perfectly and then i'll just send that resume to everybody it doesn't work like that you have to go individually apply for every job and every job you have to again see uh, what you are doing you know so that's how it is thanks